things in reality are shifting and your consciousness is expanding. And enlightenment is a very, very real process, which I know that if you're seeing this video, you are going through this process right now in your life. This time is one that many feeling these expanded vibrations, these expanding energies and things changing around them, many people will feel fear, anxiety, some stresses, some confusion, feeling as though everything is falling apart. Many people may turn away from these feelings to try to protect themselves, to try to go back to what it is that they believe they know to be true. But what is true and what you know about truth is changing and expanding. The process which you are going through right now, many of the things which you once thought to be true, which may have been resonant and relevant for you at that time in your life, you will realize that these ideas are far from what is accurate right now in this moment. You are right here right now in this moment in your life going through an expansive process because there's something incredibly special to who you are. Now who you are has an extraordinary power that is capable of improving your life in literally every single way you could possibly imagine. Everything will improve. The power you feel, the peace, the love, the abundance in your life. It's just really simple way for me to state this to you that everything improves when you tap into the power of who you really are. But who you really are is a very different thing than who you think you are. Your idea of yourself is not necessarily you. And while you live from an idea or from a certain ideals or belief system or something along these lines, some story about who you believe you are, you are not able to channel the power of who you really are in this moment. It really is this simple. Now I'm making this video for a very simple reason, because I feel the vibrations on our planet shifting and changing. I feel it in myself and I see it in everybody. Literally everybody around me is going through this process right now. Everybody's processing this process differently, of course. Now, as I already said, many people are feeling afraid of this process because it does tend to feel as though things are falling apart. It does tend to feel as though you are dying. Sometimes the things that once made you feel good in life, suddenly it's like all those feelings disappear. There's this vast emptiness. There's this intense confusion and admitting to ourselves that we do not know what's coming next, that we do not know who we are, but many people are resistant to acknowledge that. They're afraid to let go. They're afraid of the feeling of everything falling out of alignment. That's why I'm making this video to help you to see that things are not falling out of alignment. They're falling in to alignment. You do not need to be afraid of this process. Is it uncomfortable at times? Yes. Does it feel like you're dying at times? Yes, but understand that you are not actually dying. It is actually the opposite, and that's what's kind of funny about this enlightenment process taking place right now. You're not dying. You are being born. For the first time, you are going to arrive in reality in this very moment as who it is that you really are. Who you really are is a power that will improve every aspect of your life. So understand you do not need to be afraid of what it is that you may be feeling or the experiences that may be happening within yourself. You see, some people around me seem higher than ever right now. They're feeling amazing. They're, you can tell they're vibing. They feel like they've got it all together. And then there's this other polarized aspect where there's other people who feel as though everything's falling apart and they're panicking and they're just grasping for anything to make them feel secure. Now, whichever one of these polarized signs you may find yourself on, understand that up and down, high, low, good, bad, positive, negative, light and dark, we live in an ecosystem of absolute impermanence. Nothing here lasts forever. So if you're feeling extraordinarily high right now, don't cling to that. 
I'm not saying don't enjoy the highness that you're feeling. That would be silly to not enjoy the fact that you're enjoying life right now. What I am trying to say is that who you are is not that high feeling. Who you are is not a feeling. It is not a sense. It is not a thought. It is not an idea. It's not a story you tell yourself. Who you are is not the success you may be experiencing right now. And likewise, if you are feeling low or depressed or confused, that too will also pass. You are not those feelings. We will be high. We will be low. Things will go up. Things will go down. We will experience massive successes in our life and we will experience things that appear to be failures. Now you see this enlightenment process is about something different. It is about learning to release our attachment to things going a certain way. And that means learning to release attachment to how it is that we're feeling right now. If you're afraid, don't be afraid of the fact that you're afraid. It's okay. What you're going through right now is an extraordinary process that is absolutely enlightening you. And you will see that. And if you are feeling amazing right now, that's great. Enjoy it. But you should be able to enjoy feeling low and fear and you should be able to enjoy feeling not well in the same way that you enjoy feeling amazing. Because who you really are, which is what this video is all about, the true you, is not the highs, is not the lows, is not the thoughts, is not the feelings, is not the identity, is not the story you tell yourself. That's not you. That's the fake you. The part of us that seeks to feel real from all these sensations is the part of us that is dying right now. That part of us is dying so that we can bear witness to the only thing that is left once that whole facade we've kept up for years dies and we can no longer carry it anymore because it's just dead. You will see that there is something that is still living. It is who you really are. My friend, it's time to let go. Time to let go of resisting, insisting, and everything which comes with it. I once wanted to be a preacher of light, so to speak. But darkness is just as pure, just as real, just as valuable. There couldn't be light without dark. They're both necessary. What I'm trying to say is there's an emptiness within every single one of us. And if you're having a hard time in the transformation right now, it will actually be easier for you to receive the enlightenment that's taking place than if you were feeling extremely high right now. And that's just the truth because when people feel high, they make all kinds of stories and attachments out of it because they love feeling all those feelings. It's when we feel low that the truth is closer to our realization than ever before. Because when we feel low, we're ready to surrender. We're ready to let go. We're ready to open up to the truth being here for us. You understand what I'm saying? So if you are having a hard time and feeling these shifts right now, Understand that the truth is closer to you than it has ever been before. Surrender. Allow yourself to experience what you're experiencing right now, and you will see a very clear glimpse of who it is that you are. The emptiness that exists within you. Many times in life, you've wanted to fill it with something. You've wanted to fill that emptiness with love, sex, drugs, music, social validation making yourself significant at work, achieving something great, walking the red carpet, getting that new car, buying that new outfit, new haircut, you know what I'm saying. We attempt to fill this emptiness with anything we can muster up, any desire, we want to fill it. But understand that this emptiness isn't going anywhere because this emptiness is absolutely fundamental to that which you actually are. You cannot fill it. You cannot cover up the truth of your real nature and you do not need to be afraid of it because it is in this emptiness when you finally allow it to be there and you finally allow yourself to see it, look it in the eyes, shake its hand, so to speak, instead of fearing it, when you greet it, you discover that this emptiness is simultaneously true fulfillment. That the very thing which you've been running from is the very thing you've been looking for. 
It's challenging even for me. Now, quite the wordsmith, I'd say, to find words to express what it is that I'm hoping to communicate to you today. I hope that you know that everything is going quite well, even if it's not feeling that way. I hope that you understand that a powerful shifting process and expansive consciousness is evolving on our planet today, right now, and that you and I are part of the planet, we're part of the nature, and so these shifts must be countered by us. The third thing I hope you know is that if things are going extremely well for you in your life right now, that's great, enjoy it. But the next time you're ready to be open to truth, which is much different than us just feeling enjoyment. I'm gonna explain this in a, in a moment because this is something powerful, which I know that if you're here listening to this video, you're ready to hear it. Things are always gonna change in this world. It's the way it is. You can spend your whole life trying to strengthen your muscles so that you can hold on longer than anybody else around you or hold on longer than you once were able to before. Your arms will always tire though. You'll always eventually have to let go. And whenever you do, you will find you are afraid of falling, that if you let go, you'd fall. But the joke is that when you let go, you rise, you rise up. You become more aware, more powerful. You have a true strength develop within you. It's an incredible process. And I encourage anybody here who genuinely understands what it is that I'm speaking about, that has seen and felt the vibrational nature of reality within you, I encourage you to share below so that others passing through and seeing this video who may be a little confused about this enlightenment process so they can see what you have to say and know that they're gonna be okay. And if you're seeing this video and you've never felt anything like this before, maybe you've never seen any video of mine and it just popped up on your feed, understand there is an extraordinary thing taking place in your life. Do not hide from it. It's happening for you, not to you. And you are going to see at the end of this process that there is no end. It's really just the beginning of your life. Life starts once you become free from identity. People are afraid once they lose touch with who they thought they were, I'll be no one, I'll be dead, but the joke is that you are finally real. That identity is fake, that's a false life. And we don't consciously realize how much it makes us suffer until we're finally free of it, then we can see. And I know that that is what you are learning to see now in your life, so congratulations. And when you go through this process of what can only be described sensationally as dying, the sense that everything is falling apart, but really it's just falling into place, not apart. Really, you're not dying, you're just being born. You're actually becoming real for the first time in your life. Here's a funny thing. Many of us will turn away from this. This process has come up for me many times in my life and I turned away nearly every single time from it because I was afraid. I chose no. I don't want to experience the enlightenment. I want to go back to the way things were. I want to be able to fit in with my peers and relate to everybody and do the things that everybody does in society. Because the scary thing about this process is you start to notice that things you used to enjoy, you cannot get enjoyment out of anymore because there's something about it all that just seems like such a fake facade. You start to see it as this illusion and you can't take part in it anymore. Some part of you is too awake, too aware. You can't go back to sleep and that scares you and it makes you wanna take as many sleeping pills as you can, figuratively speaking, so that you can go back to sleep. But here's what I'm saying. Here's why I'm saying it. That enjoyment that you felt from that fake persona identity that you thought was you for all these years, but is now you're releasing that, you're letting it go and really waking up to who you are, that fake persona, this is a funny thing, the amount of joy you felt as that fake persona on a scale of one to 10, maybe maximum you felt a one or two level of joy. The level of joy that you experience from tuning into your true nature, having had let go 
being willing to move forward even though you're afraid and you feel the fear and you don't know what's on the other side and you don't know what's gonna happen next and you're afraid what will happen to my life if I really let go, if I really wake up, what will happen to me? The joy you experience when you finally let it happen is that of a 10 on the scale. It is an infinite joy and peace and presence that there's no feeling to describe because it's not a feeling. Feelings are not you. Senses are not you. Thoughts are not you. Ideas, identity, none of this is you. And there's genuinely no way for me to explain to you what that vibrational reality feels like because it's not a feeling anymore. You're not riffing off of feelings ever again. You just are. You exist in a way that is undeniable. I'm sorry I can't explain it, but I'm trying to help relay that it goes far beyond a, beyond a 10 on the scale of joy. So while you may be afraid of the joy you feel like you're losing in your life right now, understand that the true thing that is happening is that the door is opening to a new level of joy you can't even comprehend. Because I'm not trying to make it all intellectual and confuse you. I hope I haven't already said too much and made this confusing. <laughs> the part of you that wants to comprehend it and make sense of it, that part of you never is in charge of your life ever again. You just are, you exist. You are not separate from the infinite and it feels so incredibly ecstatic to be here in this body and to be connected to yourself and to life in a way that you had never even had the possibility of dreaming or imagining because you can't. You cannot fathom it. You just can't. But you can be it because it is who you really are. And once you are who you really are, something shifts. Something about the world begins to respond to you differently because there is an inherent power power, power that you naturally are. It doesn't come from desiring power. As a matter of fact, anybody who seeks power is clearly powerless. This power is the absence of seeking, the absence of believing that there's anything else outside of yourself that's going to complete you or make you feel better because those feelings are no longer you, those thoughts are no longer you, you realize they never were. What you are is something else entirely and you are right here right now in this moment. And if that wasn't true and you were not already aware, maybe unconsciously aware of your own consciousness, but you are consciously becoming aware now, the fact of the matter is you would not be able to perceive this video. Now, maybe you're only genuinely comprehending, you know, five out of 10 things I said here today. That's okay. Maybe you comprehend all of it. Maybe none of it. Don't worry about how much you comprehend. You felt the vibration. You attracted this message into your life. And we both know that enlightenment is real. And you are going through the process now. Now you are. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty funny. The clearer it becomes that everything you've looked for your entire life, though you may have labeled it money, cars, girls, success, peace, whatever it was you're looking for. People look for more love, more peace. Doesn't matter what you're looking for. You can say it's those high vibrational things. I'm looking for peace and love. If you're looking for anything, you're missing it. You have it right now. Stop looking. Anyways, <laughs> if you know somebody in your life that is going through this process right now and you know in your heart would benefit from receiving this reflection of knowing that not only are they gonna be okay, but they are okay right now, that this is happening for them, not to them, send this video their way. I appreciate it. Much love to you all. I hope to see you in the next video. See you soon.